Hello, everybody. I am Luke Foster. I'm a senior here at PC, and today I have with me Jake Foster. He's an audit senior at Deloitte in Atlanta. So why don't you just tell us about yourself, Jake, and about your education and uh, like how you made your career choice. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for having me, Luke. Uh, I went to Presbyterian College, like you. Um, enjoyed my four years at PC, and then I went on to get my master's degree in accounting at the University of South Carolina, um, and then went in to audit uh, at Deloitte. I guess I kind of chose it. Um, I think I took Dr. Lucking's uh, financial one class, uh, or whatever the intro is to accounting. Uh, felt like I was decently good at it and I made sense to me and I just ran with it and here I am. Okay. Uh, can you tell us, because uh, I can already tell from my class with the job market we're going to be going into, can you tell us a little about your job search after you graduated from grad school? Yeah, I think uh, my experience with uh, my job search is actually really applicable to what you guys will be going through. Um, so, you know, going through recruitment during grad school, uh, interviewing at different firms, things like that, you know, there were the, the normal in-person interviews, definitely majority in-person interviews. But funny enough, uh, my first interview with Deloitte was a like, I don't know, 15 minute uh, phone conversation and I was like well that's not really gonna go anywhere but then I got this email and they're like all right hey like this is this new type of uh, second round interview congrats you made it through um, but the second round interview was literally question popped up on the screen uh, you had 15 seconds to like read the question and then the commute then the computer would uh, automatically start recording you I think you got like three tries so you could like restart uh, the video re-record yourself, but you had three tries for each um, each question. I thought that was that was pretty unique. Uh, and then the last round was just uh, two different um, Zoom interviews. Uh, I think so. It was kind of odd to not have met a single person from the Atlanta office in person uh, before I got my offer. I'd never even been to the office yet, even though. You know, I offered in several emails to the recruiter. I was like, hey, like, I'll drive. I know it's only like two hours. Like, I can drive and, you know, come see the office. But they were like, no, we're doing this virtually. So I definitely think that's very, very, very applicable to the interviews and the job market that you guys are going to come out into because, you know, uh, the COVID pandemic has definitely accelerated. Um, the usage of uh, virtual interviews. So you guys should uh, definitely get very comfortable with the idea of not being in person for interviews, for sure. Okay. All right, so now that you're an audit senior at Deloitte, what would you say <laughs> that job title entails? So uh, I guess a little bit of background if people aren't super familiar with public accounting, you come in and you're a staff, you're uh, doing you know, the, the field work, you're in the Excel spreadsheets all day, you're making selections, testing, you know, the financial statements, you know, as auditors, it's basically just a ton of financial statement analysis, um, analytics, things like that. And then you go through two years of staff work, and then I was permitted to senior uh, just a couple months ago um, and I found out very quickly, once you get to be an audit senior, uh, you know, staff's like main level uh, looking at the audit and then senior, you're kind of on that second level looking down. So it's more project management. Um, my first day I was, you know, normally you have like a, manage, a manager, a senior manager with you on the engagement. But my first day as a senior, it was literally just me and everyone else that was under me on the engagement. Um, and, you know, to throw another little uh, wrench into that was, you know, three of the people that I was over um, were, are here in the U.S., but 
you know, the other four people that I'm managing um, are with over in India. There are US in uh, Deloitte India group. So definitely got the crash course in project managing, managing people, um, solving problems on the fly, uh, managing people in uh, different time zones definitely was very interesting to start out. Okay, so out of uh, all those uh, job responsibilities, what would you say is the biggest headache? Uh, I would say that, I guess the juggling act that I just described, you know, um, you still have your work to get through, but you know, on the, and on the other hand, you have, I have three people here counting on me to, you know, field their questions, answer their questions, give them direction with their work. Uh, help them problem solve and then uh, I have to hop on Zoom meetings at like 7.30 in the morning to do the same thing with a team halfway across the world. And then on top of that, you know, as an audit senior, you're kind of this focal point in the audit where, you know, you have the manager, senior manager, and ultimately the partner who's signing off on the audit opinion um, above you and you're giving them information about what's going on in the field, but at the same time, you are dispersing information on you know, the bigger picture decisions that are being made above you. So just managing up and managing down, uh, I guess would be the most difficult part of my job. Okay, so I know you said you just got into the, your current position right now, and I know it's a little ambitious to talk about right now, but how do you see yourself advancing in your career um, from your current position? So I, uh, I'd have to say, you know, I like to have, like, I have my yearly goals for myself in the short term, um, just different, you know, performance metrics that I would like to hit this year. But ultimately, um, I guess, you know, I also like to, you know, keep a bigger picture of where I want to be in like three or five years. Um, I, right now, I think that would be, you know, making manager at Deloitte um, and seeing how I like that because, you know, at that point, you're third level uh, up in the, the building of the audit, so to speak. Um, lots of project management, even more so uh, interacting with the client, um, get, uh, helping gain new clients. Um, so I think I would like that. So to do that now, uh, or to get there, kind of focus on uh, cultivating my project management skills. Uh, you know, people hear auditor, they don't think, uh, you know, you're interacting with people all day, but you know, three fourths of my day is either talking to someone on my team or the client or going to the client site for a meeting or going to the Deloitte office for a meeting. It's a very dynamic job. So I guess just cultivating those skills, uh, definitely get my time management down. Uh, and hopefully I make it to uh, audit manager in three or four years. Okay. All right. So what advice would you give to uh, current students at PC that are looking to enter the same field or just like they're entering their careers in general? Uh, you don't, I would say, you know, be prepared to, you know, think on the fly. Uh, I know my education at PC and the education that you guys are getting is laying like a fantastic groundwork for, you know, any career that you go into. But I mean, it sounds pretty simple, but you know, no matter what career you go into, I don't care how long you go to school, once you get thrown into the real world, you may not have a clue what's going on your first day that you get uh, to, your new, to your new job. So I would just say, don't be afraid to ask questions. Um, ask a lot of them in your first year, That soak up all that knowledge, pay attention. Um, and then, I mean, don't be afraid to work hard, just work hard uh, and you'll be fine. Okay. Uh, so just one more last question before we let you go. Uh, what would you say is your favorite business book or just books in general? <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny. Uh, I would have to say Outliers. Um, 
Dr. Turner, I read that in, I think it was his marketing class. And then since then, uh, the author of that book is Malcolm Gladwell. And I've gone on to read every single one of Malcolm Gladwell's books after that. So definitely outliers. If you haven't read it, or I don't know if he still requires you to read it, you should do it anyway. I've, I think I've reread that book about like three times now. All right. Well, thank, thank you for coming, Jake.